Well, you pick out five lures too. You can eat out of this box or that box, either one. I don't care which. Oh, wow. Look at this one. Retro bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Bass boat making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. We are standing outside of the Embassy Suites here at the Savannah Southern Classic Tackle Show with a couple of my bassin buds. We're going to be hanging out here for a couple hours, hopefully finding some old school gold, not just for me, but also for my two little mini collectors today. Stick around and I'll see you inside. Wait, frog legs. Oh, that's the Jensen frog legs. That's made in Texas. Oh, yeah. Are those the ones with the legs and they go out? Yep. They swim. Yeah, yeah. They're pretty sweet, huh? A giant lure. <laughs> oh my god! What is this meant for getting a megalodon? It's maybe. So this is a display. It says, what is it? Springfield Novelty Manufacturing, Stanley Myers, and Adolf Kunz. Probably not saying that right. But those are cool looking lures. Wow. And it says, what is this? The real lure made in Springfield, Missouri. So that's that's what's kind of cool about this is look. So their whole collection is just just that lore. Oh, See, there's wow. the patent for it. Oh wow! And that's a nice display case. That is so small. That's pretty sweet. Wow. What do you say? This is some shape different from the other ones. Yeah, it is kind of shaped different. Isn't it? Yeah, like that guy, that's a top secret right there. It's got that weird shape to it. That's huge! It is a huge tackle box. Oh, so we've got some interesting stuff here. So, some head and lures. Oh, wow. That's called a prowler. Looks kind of realistic. Okay. It's a, like a diving bait. How much is that? 20 bucks for that guy. Okay. Nice prowler. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. So, I see. So, look at this one. Isn't that cool, Whoa. Caroline? So that is a, a bomber water dog for five bucks. Nice frog pattern. Oh man, Caroline needs that. Be a good one to get. I don't know. Water dog in the brown. Ooh, look at this. This is a cool one. This is a, a Dalton special. I think it is. Huh? Yep, Dalton special for ten bucks. Oh wow, that's, you could, that's actually. No, and you can actually fish. You can actually catch a fish on that. That's a good looking bait that's there. That's ten bucks. Yeah, that's a that's one you can catch a fish on. Some sort of a uh, spy bait there. Nice. Oh, this one's pretty. Look at this. That's oh wow. Tad power. Ten bucks for that guy. Look at that kind. Kind of matches your jacket. Kind of does. That's cool. All these bits are orange. Whoa! <laughs> it's like the retro, uh, retro bassin color. That's uh, very on brand for us, huh? Yeah. Look at that, Caroline. Look at all these oranges. Oh. What do you think? <laughs> and see the the mice. Oh, mice lures, the cheese. A Snoopy rod. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. The, the cheese bait. What's that guy? Cheese bait. <laughs> Whoa, look at the orange tackle box. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. 
gosh, wow. Is that a golf ball? Is that a golf ball? I think that's a golf ball lure, yeah. What? A golf ball lure? This is like so much orange. Look at this. Oh my. Ooh, look at these. These are nice headings. Oh, it's a river run, a sonic, and a pumpkin seed. And those are actually really cool arms. Yeah, do you know what this is? That looks like a killer baits pumpkin seed. They remake a lot of the uh, old baits. Look at all this this tackle box. Oh, man. Look at that. This is like the craziest orange display ever. Look at this. We got more stuff here. Ooh. Silver this minnows, Johnson orange, water wizard. Wait, these have teas and palm prints. What's that count? Oh, let's see. Oh, they do. Okay. Let's see, yep. What does that mean? Is it tigers? Uh, college. Yeah, I was going to the tigers. Yep, a little tea for the Tennessee Volunteers. Oh, I thought it was the tigers. And then look, more orange here. Oh man. Oh my god. Look at this. There's a snake. Oh yeah, that's a. Uh, <gasps> so hold on. So that. Right there is a tough bait. That's a Arbogast Weedler. That's a uh -huh. topwater bait. That's a that's a goodie. Wow. And that? And then more. And look at this. Some more Arbogast baits here. I see Arbogaster. I see a hula popper. That's the frog. The black hula popper. Oh. Wow. That's a wild is, color. This looks like cheese. Yeah. So that that looks like a bassarino and some sort of cheese deal. Huh. Huh. And Very cool. Look at this. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> It's a, it's that. huge. That thing is a monster. I'm not even a shark could fit that. Wow. What is this meant for? I don't know. This is like just the craziest collection of orange swords I've ever seen, though. Yeah. Look at this box. Nothing but. Oh. Just. Oh man. I see a uh, Buck Perry spoon plug. Mm -hmm. I just saw this in a collecting book. I forget. I think it might be called a. Pincherino or something, um, but there's a uh, mill site lore, pad polys. What would this be? That thing, I have no idea what that is. That's oh. it looks like a cobra there. Yeah. Um, okay. And was that like a beetle? It's a sailfin. Yep, that's a mill site beetle, I think. Ooh, look at that guy. Whoa, you that's have a high sport. I do have. That's a high sport right there. That's cool. Um, but nothing but just crazy. Orange oh. baits. Yeah. <laughs> I really like the phone. Well, take, put that, get a bag there. Huh? Get a bag. And there's your sister, yes. you fish? Uh, yeah. Well, you pick out five lures too. Oh. You can eat out of this box or that box, either one. <laughs> I don't care which. But you, but you. I'm out of here. Oh, hey, All right. All right. Okay, you be good. Oh, I, I will. I hope so. Take your time. Now listen, you know, I, I told your dad this one time. But see, you know why this empty box is here? Because you can go through and say, no, I don't want that one. You put in there, and if you find one you want, you put it in the bag, and that way you get to go through the whole thing, and you don't miss anything. Oh. That's right. Oh wow, look at this one. It's a frog. Oh, that's a frog. They hey, put that on the side. I think you ought to get a keychain, Caroline. That's a goodie. That has a pretty good rattle. Here's another one, Caroline. Depends what color you like. Look at that one. I don't know which one you like better. Oh, I found one for Waylon. Shiny Heiny. What is that? A shiny Heiny? What is that? <laughs> what? What's this? Find your five? Yes, I have. Six, six. I'm going to cast lots of fish with these. Oh, what are they? Let's see them. Okay. So, I think this one is my favorite. That's a repeller. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a goodie. That, that's top nice. order. That'll catch. Yep. Uh -huh. and okay. Cotton Cordell. That is, that was. Oh, uh, yep. Nice rattle spot. Nice color, too, by the way. Nice bass color. I like that. Mm -hmm. 
I, I just found out about that lure when I had it. And we have. But they were. It was a, a Christmas deep, tree. So vintage deep deep The guy didn't really fish it. He had one. Oh. And Ooh, have, I like that. Yes, I really like this one. That's an early rubble floater. That's a good color too. Nice. And. Oh yeah, yep, that's cool. So that's a, a lure body, just had hooks. Mm -hmm. yep. Good deal. I don't go for the with all of them. You, you got any hooks at home? Huh? You got any hooks at home? Yes, tons. What's huh? that? It's a Cordell. Oh, that's a nice Cordell, yeah. I told him it'd be a good bass lure. $3? Pretty good deal. Put it in your bag, you can have it. Oh, for free? Yeah. Yeah, it's free. Cleaning free up today. today. You're cleaning up today. <laughs> and, and my dad my dad always told me to obey your elders and trust me he's a lot older than I am okay. <laughs> now if you get your, your sister gets one too get you get you another one get you a couple of them It'd be all right did you finally find out which which what did you get you need to show me I'm yeah tell us what'd you get you need to set them right up there so I can Oh yeah, that now that's a deep diver. And that yes. Are you familiar with Tom Manns? He was a in fact, he's a big time bass fisherman. And he also made lures. I think I've heard of him. Oh, you got a uh, injured middle. Oh. That's good. Huh? Oh, wow, Callie. That's good. Good. Take those. Free cakes? What? You're a lucky day. Look at this stuff. That's crazy. Wait, what's free? You could like, have a whole set up in there. What do you think? This case? He gave it to us for free. Oh! Be careful, I don't have any bags. There's three, there's three for you to start. Thank you. Can you show me your favorite lure from today's uh, fishing lure antique show? This is mine. What is it? It is a Hedden River Run. River Runt. <laughs> River Runt. <laughs> Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.